Syracuse comes away with a 13 to 11 victory over St. John's in the Whitman Sampler Independence Classic. It was more of the same for the Orange. Balanced offense provided them with another close game victory. Nine different players scored for Syracuse, including Brian McGill. You know, I was just trying to spark something for the team. Um, you know, I wasn't even expecting to get the ball back from Kometi. I thought he was going to take it and move it the other way, but when he passed it back, you know, I kind of just caught it, closed my eyes, and you know, threw it towards the cage. The guys on our team are, are very good at putting the ball in the back of the net. We have some guys that are playing really well in the crease, like Derek Maltz and you know, Luke Kometi, and these guys are just moving so well that it's, it's making my job easy when I dodge. Um, you know, I think you know, I'm basically just a beneficiary of just, you know, great teammates and uh, you know, guys who really you know, go hard to the goal and beat their guy and look up. We're working pretty well on offense. We're getting pretty open. We're moving the ball pretty well, too. So uh, these guys are, we have a whole, a whole bunch of guys that are putting the ball in the back of the net shooting pretty well. So you know, I, I, I just like to dodge and hopefully I can find someone open. It's been working pretty well so far. The victory over St. John's gives Syracuse their first Big East victory of the year in their last year in the conference. Next week, the Orange take on number six Johns Hopkins in the Carrier Dome at 1 p.m. Reporting from PPL Park in Chester, Pennsylvania, Darius Joshua, Citrus TV.